What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Caps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Sonic Capricorn. This could resonate if you have Caps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No Man, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading for sign of Capricorn. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're a couple away from 13,800 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, Thanks, everybody, for all the recent donations. I truly appreciate that. It helps support a single mom and two kids in one of her income streams. And, yes, I don't have primary physical full custody of my kids, but I still have visitation rights, and I absolutely intend on using them. So just saying, just saying. So I love you guys so much. I just want to let everybody know that. Um, and thanks for all the love and support to the channel. And if it resonates, I would love, um, I would appreciate it and love it if you put it in the comments below when it does resonate for you so others can see that it resonates. And also, um, my business, High Priestess Intuition, is very public on uh, Google Businesses. Uh, you can search it very publicly uh, if you might want to leave a review on there as well. Okay. All right. So this can resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your charts. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages if um, they apply for you. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life situation and story. However, they resonate and apply Capricorn, okay? I did receive a couple channelings as I was meditating on your energy for August of 2022. The first channel message I received was information overload. And, um, oh, I forgot the second one. Hold on a second. Information overload was the first one. Now, you know, energies can be reversed. So this could be you giving somebody information overload or somebody giving you information overload, or it can be both. You giving somebody information overload or somebody giving you information overload. How that resonates? And the second one, crap, give me a second. Um, crap, I forgot the second one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. A hard decision to make was the second one. That was the second one, a hard decision to make. And um, after that, it was about 30 seconds to 45 seconds after that, I heard um, one of you guys, it's uh, moving back in with parent. One is moving back in with parents. Um, one, it is um, delivering important information to corporate regarding a termination. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, oh, and one, it's a breakup. And one, it's a breakup. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So some kind of tough decision, um, whatever tough decision that is for you. For some, it could be a tough decision for somebody you're connected to. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. But some kind of tough, tough decision, but some of you guys... It's a tough decision regarding um, delivering some kind of information to corporate. So you work at a corporate entity regarding some kind of termination. So I think it's somebody that's already been terminated or they're going to be terminated. But I think you're a man managerial position um, or an executive director or something of that nature um, to have the authority and um, high level stature to deliver this information to uh, corporate. Um, I just don't think it's entry-level position. And, I mean, that's just the truth. Um, whoever you are, that's for one. For one, it's a breakup. So you could be breaking up with somebody or somebody could be breaking up with you or they could be breaking up with somebody you're connected to. Um, and there was another one. Oh, moving back home, some with one parent, some with two or two plus parents. Um, this could be you making this hard decision to move back home with one parent or two plus parents or somebody you're connected to. Um, however that resonates and applies, Capricorn, okay? That's for some of you guys, but, you know, whatever tough decision that is, if it doesn't, those three situations do not apply. It's some kind of tough decision otherwise, I feel you're about to make or somebody you're connected to. However that resonates and applies, Capricorn, okay? 
We have, oh my God, you got happiness and great happiness. Holy crap. And family wishes come true. Okay. Capcorn. Look at this. A Taurus and a Libra that was once a very positive influence in a Capricorn's life. The, this Capricorn is about to see their false mask in a huge way. For some, it's a workplace situation. For some, it's a family situation. For some, they are your neighbors. For some, it's a ball team setting. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, some kind of Taurus and Libra energy. Um, however that resonates, that applies to Capricorn. For some of you guys, it's a ball team setting. That could be any ball team. You plug it in, how it resonates. For some, it is a neighbor. They're, they're your neighbors. So I feel they could live directly next door to you or down the street from you or two blocks over, however that resonates. And for some, it's family members. And for some, it is um, co-workers, um, however that resonates and applies for you. Um, but it's a Taurus and Libra, inner Taurus and Libra, Taurus and Libra. I heard you, um, for some, you're already seeing the false mask in the true colors. Some you're about to, of uh, this Taurus and this Libra. I feel they can be masculine or feminine Taurus, masculine or feminine Libra. They could have Taurus or Libra and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, no, Ben, Hamer, Jupiter, charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Here's your Taurus and Libra, earth sign and air sign, Taurus and Libra and energy, um, earth sign, air sign, energy. Um, you're definitely dealing with Taurus and a Libra. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, another Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or another Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, Caps. For some, you dealt with them in a business situation in the past. False mask completely off. For some, you dealt with them in a business situation of the past. False mask completely off. For some, so for some, they're your neighbors. For some, it's a ball team setting. For some, it's a co-working situation. So workplace, I'm feeling corporate entity energy, but it doesn't have to be. Um, for some, it is a family situation. So family extended, immediate, or what have you, what have you. And for some, it was a business situation of the past. I heard false mask completely off. So I mean... It's either already been ripped off or it's about to be ripped off, like the false mask. Like you're seeing, 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 or you're about to see, see, see. However that resonates and applies, Capricorn. Wow. Okay. I just want to let everybody know while I'm shuffling out real quick. Um, on Friday, I will not be here this um, weekend. I'm going up to see my kids this weekend on Friday. Um, I will be gone until probably Sunday. I might post some videos in a hotel possibly. Um, possibly if I can afford to get a hotel, I might sleep in my vehicle. Um, I might post in my vehicle. I don't know. But um, my priority are my kids. So... I might be out of service this weekend. I just want to let everybody know. Probably will be, okay? Spirit messages you have for Sonic Capricorn. I will be in Knoxville, Tennessee, because uh, that's where my kids are. Transformation. Gazelle.
Sneaky sex rendezvous with a Taurus. For one, it's your ex-wife. For one, it's your partner. For one, you're the one having the sneaky sex rendezvous with this Taurus. For one, you're about to catch somebody having sneaky sex rendezvous with this Taurus. Oh my lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, one it one of you guys is Taurus is your ex-wife. One they are your uh are your uh, girl, uh partner. So it could be masculine fem partner, Taurus, or or your ex-wife Taurus, however that resonates. But uh for some you're having the sneaky sex rendezvous with them. So I don't feel it's your partner. Why would you be having sneaky sneaky sex rendezvous with a partner? Um just saying. Unless y'all are role playing or something, I mean, I don't think it's your partner. If you're having the sneaky sex rendezvous, I'm just being for real. I think it's a sneaky link, a third party, a situation ship, a what have you, what have you, something like that, or like a one night stand or something. Um, if you are the one having them, for some you are, for some you're not. For some, you're about to catch somebody having them with this sneaky, uh, with this sneaky sex rendezvous with this Taurus. And I feel for some, it's your ex wife. Or your partner, you're about to catch um, this other person and this Taurus, whether they're your ex-wife or your partner. How that resonates, Capricorn, dear Lord, yikes, I'm just saying, y'all. So, um, gazelles are, um, they can be sneaky. They're very sly, very fast, very swift. They can be sneaky. Um, I think in this aspect, they're taking on the sneaky energy. I think this is your sneaky Taurus here. Whether it's your ex-wife, your current partner, whether you're doing this with this Taurus, or you're about to find somebody doing it with this Taurus. How there is an H. Taurus energy strong in here. A hotel is about to become very significant in a, in a Capricorn's life. Hotel is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. That's all I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. This could be you staying in a hotel or somebody you're connected to getting a hotel. It, I mean, you know, you can get a hotel for a million different things. For some, I feel it's the sneaky snacks, uh, sex for your stuff. For some, it could just be going, like, for example, this weekend when I go up, I'll be getting a hotel, but am I going to be using it for sneaky sex rendezvous? No. Um, so why are you going to get a hotel? Or it could be somebody you're connected to. Um, however that resonates, okay? Pro. Someone that once had a bad reputation, some in their town, some in their city, they do not anymore. For some, they're about not to through many series of chain of events. And someone that did not have a bad reputation in some in their town, some in their city, they're about to have a horrible reputation because of facts and the truth coming out. Okay, so reputation energy. Um, I, you know, energy's can reverse. So for some, this could be you. Um, whether you're, your reputation is about to be cleared or it's about to be tarnished because of facts and evidence and sneaky stuff. However that resonates, okay? Only you know what you've been doing, not anybody else. So you have to plug this in how it resonates. But I feel for a lot of you guys for this situation, for some it could be you. Your uh, reputation is about to be um, tarnished or it's about to be cleared. For some, I feel it's somebody you're connected to. And for some of you guys, I feel you're either going to help clear this person's reputation or you're going to help tarnish it. Um, for some, I feel it could be you, whether your reputation is going to be tarnished or it's going to be uh, cleared. How that resonates, Capricorn. Only you know what you've been putting in the universe, not anybody else, okay? Somebody's heavily dealing with Taurus, and I'm just being for real. I don't know if that has anything to do with the reputation or not. For some, it's a Scorpio. For some, it's a Scorpio. So for some of you guys, you're dealing heavy with this Taurus, sneaky Taurus energy. For some, it's a Scorpio. So for some, it's a Taurus. For some, it's a Scorpio. Masculine or feminine Taurus, masculine or feminine Scorps. They get a Taurus or Scorpio. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, World, Thumb, Inhaber, and Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates.
Woo! And you're dealing with this Libra, too. Not a wrongful termination coming soon. One, you're about to help make this happen. One, it's about to happen to you. Okay. Not a wrongful termination coming soon. For one of you guys, you're about to help make this happen. For one, it's about to happen to you. Now, I heard not a wrongful termination. So, you know, there's rightful terminations, there's wrongful terminations, and that's just the truth. Um... So, um, however that resonates and applies, but however this resonates and applies, it's not a wrongful termination. So, you, um, you or this other person, there is real evidence and cause and, like, reasonable cause, and they really, really, really should be terminated, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. And I'm not talking about trying to maliciously sabotage somebody behind the scenes to ruin their career and, um, like, take out a power play meeting. N not this kind of energy. I mean, like, they really should be terminated. I think something horrible's happened or is about to happen. Like, finding somebody in a broom closet, like, a co-worker, two co-workers doing it in a broom closet, or some kind of sexual harassment claim, or somebody goes to the EEOC because of discrimination, or something of that nature. Like, something huge, like, loss of energy. And I'm just being for real. Is what I'm feeling. But only you know why, the, or it could be alcohol intoxication, or they, uh, they're they suspected drug user, and they, um, you administer them a drug screen, or somebody else does. They pop positive. That's reasonable cause to terminate them. I mean, like, huge reasons to terminate somebody is what I'm trying to say. Like, not sneaky sabotage energy, saboteur energy. Not taking out a power play mover behind the scenes with sneaky saboteur energy. Real reasons to terminate somebody. For one, it's going to be you. For one, it's going to be you are going to help do this to somebody. So, I mean, I think it's red flag energy all over the place. I didn't hear red flags. I just feel red flags. Like, true red flags. Like, they're not a real asset to this company. Like, I feel they're more of a hindrance than an asset. And I'm just being serious. Whoever this person is, I feel for some it could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly, or it could be an earth sign, possibly, because uh, you've got air sign, earth sign energy. But how that resonates, one, you're about to be a power play mover and help do this. For one, you are about to be term not wrongfully terminated. So I think you might have a drug problem, alcohol problem, or somebody, uh, there's some kind of discriminatory issue here with you uh, towards another individual, or some kind of maybe some sexual harassment or something of that nature, like something huge. Um, or a signal event or some or something. I mean, like something, I'm feeling huge. I didn't hear huge, but usually people just don't get wrongfully terminated like I have four times in the universe in my city. That's not normal. This is not normal. Me being wrongfully terminated four times in my city, that's not normal. And I'm serious. That's just not normal. For normal people, it's usually a huge reason, is what I'm saying. So I feel it is a huge reason, but you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. For one, I feel you might drug addictions, sex addictions, ga uh, not gambling, but uh, drugs, alcohol, or sex addictions, or the person you're about to help terminate has drugs, alcohol, or sex addictions, or there's a discriminatory problem, or an abuse problem, or a uh, sexual harassment problem or something. Um, something huge is what I'm feeling. Happiness? A particular Capricorn feminine that has started a New job. She's about to really be respected. In her workplace, it's going to be something she's not used to. It's going to make her very happy. 
Wow. Well, that's beautiful. And that could be the transformation too, if that resonates for you, Capricorn. Your caps, fam, if this resonates for you, you can have Capricorn in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, Behavior, Jupiter charts. You recently started a new position. Now, wherever this is and how this applies to the universe, you have to plug yourself into your particular story and situation. Not anybody else, you know your story, not anybody else. But if this resonates for you, you're a caps fem with caps in your chart in some aspect. You recently started a new position somewhere in the universe. I heard you basically did not get respect. You didn't get respect, honor, dignity. Nobody, you know, you just didn't get the respect on your name, basically, in your other jobs, other positions, other places, what have you, what have you. But I heard here you're about to. For some of you, you've already gotten it. And it makes you very happy. I heard, well, I, yeah, you already got it. I heard it makes you very happy. I think it makes you very happy. Great happiness is what I feel, man. And yeah, everybody being respected in a job from a person that has worked many, many, many jobs, many of them. Being valued and respected in one's company and place of employment is very 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 important it just really is it makes your it makes your whole being just you can love your job all day long i love nursing but have i enjoyed my job field in some positions no and that's just the truth haven't really enjoyed the nursing the uh field of nursing since 2017 since 2018 and that's just the truth i mean it and i'll go and do it and i love my patients and i'll do my job and what have you what have you if i'm employed which i'm not right now i'm not i do this but there's a difference between going in and just doing your job and and, and people respecting you and valuing your opinion and really listening to what you have to say Versus just going in and having to tolerate you or talking shit behind your back or um, doing, you know, or um, doing crazy shit to you behind your back, like secret saboteur energy. You want to be valued, respected, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is what I'm trying to say. And whoever you are, Capspin, that recently started this job, you are being very highly respected or you're about to be and it makes you very happy. And I really love that for you, ma'am, because I wish that upon everybody. And I'm just being serious. I mean it. Congratulations. One second. A field of flowers is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. It's going to make them very happy. A field of flowers is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. It's going to make them very happy. A field of flowers, ma'am or sir. Excuse me, ma'am or sir. A field of flowers. That's beautiful. Great happiness. A vacation is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. For one, you haven't taken a vacation in a very long time. For one, you're addicted to addicted to vacations you're very spoiled and it's about to get ruined for you in a huge way whoa capricorn dang so we got yin and yang so one of you guys you haven't taken a vacation in a very long time and i heard basically you're about to be able to take one it's gonna make you very happy and i haven't taken one in a very long time myself i understand that ma'am or sir um it's gonna make you very happy um beautiful for you ma'am or sir for one, I heard you're extremely spoiled, and you're basically addicted to taking vacations, and I heard you're about to take one, and it sounds like it's going to be a very nice one. I think you're very wealthy. I think you're very affluent. I think you're very well off, and I'm just being serious. You're about to take this vacation. Both of you, these are upcoming vacations, but two totally different spectrums here, but the spoiled one, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, I heard it's about to basically go left in a huge way. Uh, huge in a huge way in a huge way i heard that big in a huge way it's about to go left it's about to go left ah, in a huge way so you think it's going to bring you great happiness i think you're about to go to a very luxurious place i didn't hear you where you're going to go only you know where you're going to go but i think it's going to be very luxurious um probably resort or a private island or i don't know 
can I throw it in somebody's suitcase? Just saying. But it's going to make you very happy. You think it's going to make you very happy, but it's going to go left in a very negative way. So something's going to happen. Um, I think there's some kind of karmic debt there that's about to be paid off on this vacation. And I hate to say that, but I mean it. So whoever this is for, Lord, that yikes. For some, a Taurus or a Libra could be significant because we got Taurus and Libra energy very strong in here, possibly. Um, possibly. Or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Family wishes come true. A Neil mother is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. And an ill sister. And an ill brother. An ill mother, an ill sister, and an ill brother. That's not family wishes come true. Um, just saying, just saying. Ill mother, ill sister, ill brother is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. So, you know, it doesn't have to be your ill mother, ill brother, or ill sister. It could be somebody else's ill mother, ill brother, or ill sister, and that's just the truth. Um, you have to plug the situation or situations in your own life how it resonates. Um, that's definitely not family wishes come true or great happiness. But somehow they're about to become significant in your life. I feel for some they could reside in long-term care facilities or um, skilled nursing facilities or maybe assisted living facilities and maybe you're going to go visit them is what I feel for some and it's going to make your family wishes come true. Um, that's what I feel for some of you guys. So I feel for some they could start getting ill and that's about to become significant which doesn't make family wishes come true. But for some I feel they already could be ill. So you're about to go visit them in the skilled nursing facility, the assisted living facility or etc, etc, etc. And it's going to make your family wishes come true. I feel they're already a resident there, possibly. For some, they could be a patient in a hospital currently, like inpatient. And you're about to go wi uh, visit them, and it makes your family wishes come true. Maybe you're going to take your family to visit them, possibly. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. But some, uh, ill brother, ill mother, ill sister. However that resonates. I feel for some, they could be inpatients in hospitals currently or about to be. For some, they could be... Um, Residents, assisted living facilities, skilled nursing facilities, or etc., etc., etc. You're about to go visit them. For some, it could be a veteran's home. I used to work in a veteran's home. Um, how that resonates, okay? You plug it in, how it resonates. Vivo is about to become very significant. And a bonus for one. Vivo is about to become very significant and a bonus for one. So one of you guys is about to get a bonus and Vivo. Um, Vivo, what the crap is Vivo? Um, Vivo, let me look this up. I don't know what Vivo is. Isn't that the music streaming uh, or something like that? Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Vivo's the world, world's leading music video network connecting an ever-growing global audience to high-quality music video content. Yeah, so music videos. So Vivo's about to become very significant. I think you're about to look up music video or music videos or somebody else's. Um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so you plug it in how it resonates. I think you like music for one of you guys. Uh, I think you like music. Um, or somebody you're connected to does. I mean, who the hell doesn't like music? And that's just the truth. My goodness. Woo! Locking someone out of a Capricorn's life is about to become the best thing that ever happened to them. And a transfer is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. 
So one of you guys is about to block someone out of your life. I heard it's going to be the best thing ever happened to you. I feel blocking out of your phone, like no contact rule, like just cutting it off with them. But I feel they're very toxic and whoever this is for, I, I, you are the leader of your best discernment and you know what's the best thing for you. And I don't blame you. For one, I heard a transfer is about to become very significant. So this could be you about to transfer in your company to another facility or state or what have you, what have you, um, or somebody else some kind of transfer energy um that's beautiful um so relocating from one comp uh, one facility site location etc 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 to another one i feel it's probably going to be out of town but for some some it could be in town across town or something like that but definitely from one site area location etc 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 to another whether it's far distances or short or short however that resonates okay i think it's going to make your family wishes come true i think it's going to Help you and your family. Uh, for some, you could uh, get a raise. Get a raise or a promotion or a bonus if you transfer. For some, it could just be getting you out of some kind of family drama, possibly. Um, I didn't hear that, but it might. It might. You plug it in how it resonates. But it's going to make you happy, I feel, with the double happiness. A Capricorn is about to finally betray a Scorpio. They have been keeping their secret, keeping their secret, keeping their secret, and keeping their secret. For some it's a Scorpio, for some it's a Libra. They have been keeping it and keeping it and keeping it and keeping it. They're about to let it out. For their set for them and for others. Tired of being blackmailed and tired of the drama. Okay, Capricorn. So if this resonates for you, some you've been keeping a secret uh Libra secret secret for some you've been keeping a Scorpio secret. Uh whatever the hell this is and how this resonates and whoever you are and how they apply. Um some is a Taurus and some is the Taurus. Some you've been keeping a Taurus's secret, some a Libra secret, for some a Scorpio secret. A lot of secrets. But I heard you're tired of keeping it. Now, whatever the hell secret it is and how that applies. I mean, whoever this pe these people are to you, they could be family members, friends, co-workers, frenemies, neighbors, count, city council, board members, board members, um, Sally Joe that does your hair. I mean, I don't know. But whoever these people are, her Taurus, Libra, and Scorpio, you're tired of keeping their secrets. Um, basically, I, they've been blackmailing you. For some, they've been blackmailing you. And I heard for some, you're tired of the blackmail. For some, you're tired of the drama. So you're tired of the blackmail. You're tired of the drama. You want to hashtag live free. Yeah, no. I might be poor right now, but I won't always be poor because I'm going to renovate my house and go get a tiny home and move the hell out of this state so I can go get a good job and live near my kids and be abundant. So I'm not technically poor right now. I just had a lot of legal issues. And I mean a lot of legal issues. If I didn't have all those le damn legal issues, then I wouldn't be poor. Which I'm not technically poor, but I just kind of feel poor because I've spent so much on legal fees, but it's okay. You know, I'll build myself back up. But my point is, is um, whoever you are, you've been keeping some kind of black, you've been blackmailed, like blackmailed or blackballed or something. Um, and you're tired of being blackmailed or blackballed. I think you want to hashtag live free with no blackmail, no drama, no secrets. I heard you're about to release them. Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, whoever these people are and how they apply, okay? Things gonna make you very happy. And it's gonna make some it's gonna make your family wishes come true. Possibly. Uh, for, for one is really, really, really gonna help in a court case in a huge way. Know this. For one, it's really, really, really gonna help in a court case in a huge way. Know this. But one of you guys releasing these blackmailing secrets, I heard is going to, um, dear God, it's going to really, really help you in a court case in a huge way. Know this. So maybe family court for some. Family wishes, possibly. I didn't hear that, but I just kind of intuitively feel family court for some. For some, it could be any other kind of court situation. It could be criminal. It could be family court. It could be something else. But however that resonates, 
You're about to release them, baby. Taurus, Scorpio, Libra. They can have Taurus, Scorpio, or Libra, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, and you have the transformation, Scorpionic energy. You are about to transform. You're tired of blackmail. You're tired of drama. You're tired of the, I feel for some, it could be making your physical health go down or your mental health go down or both. And I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel that. I feel for some, it could be making your physical or your mental health go down. Who the hell wants that? And that's another reason why I like living hermit style right now. I don't want my physical health or my mental health going down. That's just the damn truth. So I will sit here and do my readings until I can renovate my home completely and get me a new door and a new fence and a new flooring and move me out into a tiny home out of the state. And that's my plan. And that's the truth. I mean, well, go hiking. I get out from time to time. I go walking. But, and I, I'm nice to the people at the convenience store. And when I go out to eat, but my point is, is I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So this hermit mode is where I'm at until I'm going. Because I'm protecting my physical and mental health. Some of you guys, I feel your physical and mental health is went down because of all this shit. This too much. And for some, I feel it's affecting your family. And I'm just being for real. Yikes. For some, it's a Gemini. For some, it's a Gemini. So, some it's a Taurus, some it's a Scorpio, some it's a Libra, some it's a Gemini. You're about to release the information. About to transform, Capricorn. Let me see if I hear anything else. Dear Lord. A school counselor is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. And a and a water heater that's about to flood. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. A school counselor is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. So you could be the school counselor or a school counselor could be contacting you or somebody you're connected to could be contacted by a school counselor. Somehow a school counselor is about to become significant in your life. So I feel they're about to contact you or you're about to contact them um, is what I'm feeling. Scor um, not Scorpio, um, Capricorn. Um, how that resonates and applies, okay? That's for one of you guys. Um, for one, you could be meeting the school counselor, uh, maybe at an orientation or something, because we're at the beginning of school time right now, for some. Um, I feel it could be maybe your child's school counselor, or maybe your school counselor if you are um, in school. Um, and that could be community college, technical college, um, Ivy League, or what have you, what have you. And for one of you guys, a uh, freaking water heater is about to freaking um, flood. It could be your water heater or somebody you're connected to. So that, that, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I've had that happen to me in this home. I did have a, uh, that was the first year I was here. I did have a house home warranty when I bought the home. So I was able to get another one. Thank goodness. But it still sucked. It was in my son's room and it sucked. And I'm serious. A sex video is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. For one, they're about to release this sex video information on somebody else. A sex video was illegally made on somebody, and a Capricorn's about to find this out. They're about to release it to an investigator. Okay, I heard a sex video was illegally made on somebody, and you're about to find this out, Capricorn, that this sex video was illegally made on somebody. Um, without their consent authorization, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. You're about to find this out. Uh, I think you're going to view the sex video, and I'm just being serious. I think you're going to view it, or you're about, yeah, I think you're going to view it, or find, or know about it, or something. Somehow, you're going to find out about it. And basically, um, I heard you're going to release the information to an investigator. So, how that resonates in the Hold on one second, I apologize. Hello? 
My hands are stalling. Um, can I contact you? Actually, I have a question to ask you, but I'm a little busy right now. Can I call you back at this number? What time do you guys close? Okay, a central standard time. Okay, um, I'll call you back in a few minutes. I'm busy with work, work right now. I'll call you back, okay? All right, thank you. You're fine. Thank you, bye. Okay, I apologize. So, um, so yeah, so where are we at? Hot, hot water is about to, ex uh, hot water heater is about to explode. There was something else. Oh, something about a sex video. Yeah, you're about to find out about a sex video that somebody basically, um, uh, um, uh, did on somebody, like, without their consent and authorization, illegal voyeur camera style. It's not you. If this resonates for you, it's somebody else that somebody did this to. And I heard once you find this out, I think you're going to view the video. And I'm just being for real. I think you're going to view the sex video um, or just hear about it. But how that resonates, I heard you're going to release the information to an investigator. It's going to make it go very fast, very fast. It's going to make it go very fast, very fast. So transformation is going to make it go fast. Um, if this resonates for you, you did not illegally voyeur somebody. Um, through uh, with a illegal voyeur sex tape, somebody else did it. But you're but you are about to find this out, ma'am or sir. And it's about to cause a transformation into uh, in you. I hate when people do that crap. I hate that. I hate it because the only reason somebody would make a voyeur um, illegal sex tape, i.e., voyeur style, on somebody is to rob them because they never got their consent or authorization for the sex tape. So they made all the money off of it, i.e. they never told this person. So they've probably been spreading it all around the community on all around the world, making all this money off the sex tape, and they haven't even got a dime off of it. That's very unfair. Very. If you're going to do that, you should be honest and enter into a business contract and say, hey, let's split it. I Yes, I shouldn't have filmed you, but I did, and it's a pretty rocking video. Can we? um put it out and split the profits but no this person refused to do that because they're sneaky and shysty behind the scenes you should be honest and straightforward and that's just the truth now i don't believe now would i ever go out and consent and authorize to um do a sex video no no i'm not a porn star <laughs> i don't aspire to be a porn star i don't want to be a porn star nay nay but i'm just saying Whoever this is, they never even had any intentions on telling the other person about it. They were just going to pocket all the money, which is extremely greedy. And they're about to get their karma. And that's just the truth. And I think one of you guys is about to help deliver it in the form of contacting this investigator and telling them this information when you find out about the sex tape. And I don't blame you because that's sick. That's sick in the head. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. A child support adjustment is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. And a flight. And a hot air balloon. Child support, child support adjustment, a hot air balloon, and um, what was the other one? Child support adjustment, a hot air balloon. And uh, there was one more. There was one more. You have to go back and check it. Um, it's about to become very significant in a cop's life. Uh, so this could be you um, filing for child support adjustment or somebody filing it on you with some kind of child support adjustment, whether you're filing for it or somebody's filing it on you. Um, and I think you're about to 
engage in a hot air balloon. I want to go on a hot air balloon. Just saying, just saying. I want to do that so bad. Um, I'm jelly. A little jelly in my jammy. It's just saying. Um, I think one of you guys is about to go on a hot air balloon excursion. I've always wanted to do that. What's up with that? Um, that's wonderful. It is. Um, so one of you guys is about to go on one of these or you're about to go with somebody or what have you, what have you, or somebody you know is about to do it. That's a bomb right there. That's on my bucket list and that's just a damn truth. I want to live in a tiny house with minimal payments so I can get out and get a damn hot air balloon and get out of this crazy ass city. And that's just the truth. All right. And a Capricorn is about to get a phone call soon about a prostitution ring. And a Capricorn is about to get a phone call soon about a prostitution ring, is what I heard. And one of you guys is about to get a phone call soon about a prostitution ring. So you plug it in how it resonates. Love you guys. And one of you guys is about to be very integral. Oh, hold on. Very integral. And retire. Oh, retiring. 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 Very integral and retiring. Very integral and retiring. So when are you guys about to retire? So transformation, you're about to retire? Oh, very integral, apparently. <laughs> very integral and retiring. Well, hell, I wish I could retire. I'm only 39. But when the way, the route people keep going, we're fucking up, wrongfully terminating my ass, I'm never going to get there. I'll be freaking 65 before I can damn retire on Social Security or some shit. And that's just the truth. I was hoping I could do it by now. But when people keep blocking my money and blocking my money and blocking my money and keep me in legal fees, it's kind of hard. And that's just the truth. <laughs> God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, so when are you guys about to retire? Congratulations. All right. Love you guys. Namaste.